Yo, what's up, everybody? Um, welcome back to a brand new video today. And let's jump into it, you know? The question that is on everybody's mind, okay? Can you remain friends with your ex-girlfriend or boyfriend? And the answer is absolutely. You know, it just really depends on why you guys break up and how you guys break up. Were you guys really not compatible for each other that you guys just couldn't do it, you know? Like, you guys were like hitting each other, you know? Like fucking punching each other. Like, fuck you, you're a fucking bitch. Or you fucking asshole, what the fuck? And then you guys just broke up. Then, I don't think you guys should make friends because then, what the fuck, you know, you guys had that argument towards each other. What if you guys remain friends and then you guys had another argument, then you guys are gonna do the same shit again when you guys weren't together. You know? But sometimes it is good to be friends, because think about it. We all need friends, okay? We all need someone that knows you on a personal level, that actually hung out with you more than anybody else, you know. You guys really need somebody to be there for you. Somebody that's going to be there that knows what mistakes you guys are going to make before you even make it, you know. So that if you guys have, like, anything on your mind, you know, there's always somebody that you could call up and be like, Hey, um, I need to talk to you. Or, hey, I just made this mistake. What do I do? You know. And they're all like, oh, come on, man. I already know that you're going to make this dumbass mistake. Here's how you fix it. You know, some of your exes could actually be there for you, too. You know, be like, oh, hey, you fucked up with this person. So here, give me the number, you know, or let me call them for you and, you know, get things better for you. You know, because some of your exes could actually be really, really good friends. You know, and remain good friends. You know? And maybe that's all you guys, you know, want to be. You know, you guys try the whole relationship shit. You know, you guys try going out on dates. You know, talking to each other, trying to get to know each other. You know, and trying to, you know, see how it works. But, sometimes it doesn't work out. And, it's honestly okay, you know. It's honestly okay to be alone. I'm alone, you know. And I'm still talking to my ex. But, you know, honestly though, it's okay, you know, because we're all going to fuck up. We're all going to need somebody to talk to you. And who's going to be there? Your ex-girlfriend. Why? Because, you know, you guys are good friends. She cares about you. You still care about them. And that's all that really comes down to, you know. And it's okay, you know. Because life, life could be so difficult, you know. Life has its ups and its downs, you know. And you really don't know where you're going to end up at. But God puts you to where you need to be at, you know. He really does, though. You know, you have dreams of like, oh, hey, you know, I had this dream before. Holy shit, days of vu. You know, it's because you're looking into your future, you know. You just don't know when or how you're going to get there, you know. God hurts you, puts people in your life to test you, to be like, okay, hey, here's this person, help them out, you know, and do whatever, you know, they need you, but sometimes, you know, it doesn't work out like they're supposed to, right, and you try it out, and you're like, six, seven months later down the line, you're like, I can't help this person no more, and so you guys just remain friends. And you, but you guys still continue to care about each other, you know? And sometimes you have to make those mistakes in order to be at where you're at in life right now. Because think about it, you know, if you wouldn't have gotten your first job, you wouldn't have met the nice people there, you know, that wouldn't have given you the experience that you actually need to get another job, you know? Think about it. You know, without friends, you know, pushing you, like, hey, the job isn't working out for you, you need another job, you know, then you're never going to know, you know, like, hey, what the fuck, you know, 
or you're not gonna have friends to like curse you and be like, yo, man, uh, come on, man, get that other job, come on, man, you got this, what the fuck, stop being lazy, wake your ass up, I don't have, I don't really have that, you know, so it's good to have friends that actually do that for you, you know, because, look, if you're living with friends too, you know, and you're like, Hey, I just started my new job. This other job is fucking me over. Rent's gonna be late. You know, then they're gonna be like, okay, hey, you know, that's no problem. I really do understand. I've been in this situation before. You know, just pay me when you can and then just catch up on your next paycheck. You know? And then you're like, okay, cool. You know, thank you so much. You know, because that's what it all really comes down to. You know, is having good friends that know you, that care about you, that will help you out, that would do pretty much anything for you, you know, because we all need that one person to could just call up and be like, hey, can I talk to you, you have time, and then you guys just sit there and talk for like three hours straight, you know, and then everything is good, you know, it's really good, you know, sometimes, you know, life purchases you, you know, and tests you, you know, it's like, hey, this job isn't giving you zero hours or five hours a week not to live off of, but you still need to pay rent. What are you going to do? Are you going to wait till it gets better and hopefully they give you more hours and hopefully your landlord will be okay with you not like being short on rent several months? Or are you going to press yourself to get a second job so you could support yourself? You know, what are you going to do? Huh? What are you going to do because that's what life is life is just a whole bunch of tests you know it's like school you know life is schooling you you know and every single day we learn something new about life and we learn something new about friendships you know it doesn't matter what if you learn it from watching tv or a stupid youtube video like mine it doesn't really matter you know Life. Life could be difficult, but it could be super easier if you just relax, take life for what it is, have good ass friends, you know, to talk to you and get you through it, have good, you know, relationship with people, you know, and just remain yourself, you know. If you remain yourself, you know, doing friendships, you know, and after you guys break up, just remain yourself and don't try to act like somebody else. Don't move on too quickly, you know, and just, you know, be who you are. Be who you want to be in life. Don't let nobody tell you, no, you can't do this, okay? So, yes, it is okay to actually live, to be friends with your ex-girlfriend. That's fine, okay, because we need people to talk to you, and that's really what it comes down to. You know, it doesn't matter. Or maybe you really just want them to be friends with you, so that maybe like six, seven, eight, nine months down the line, you're like, hey, you know, we've been talking for a while, you're single, I'm single, you know, maybe we could try this again and see what happens. Who knows? That's on you guys. Okay? But I hope this advice actually works out for you guys. Um, I'm feeling a little sick, that's why I'm like, eh, i kind of out of it today, but I just want to give you guys something today. Or it might be up tomorrow. I don't know. It depends on the upload time. But anyways, um, I hope you like this. Um, enjoy this video. So please like, subscribe, and peace.